Hello viewers, this is Cynthia Michael from Screw Review, giving you my 517 podcast. This is my 517 podcast. I like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to breathe too hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will attain to adult limit. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will attain to adult, will attain to adult language. If you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, then you should go to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, with this and everything else out the way, let's get into let's get into the topic of this podcast. So basically, so basically, recently the recently Kim Major has finished uh, had the the Kim Major series has finished. So basically, this is my this is my final review on the whole on the whole Kim on the Messenger type Kim Major you know series. So basically, I gotta say it was a this was a good Sentai, you know, everything, like, you know, this was, I'm not saying, like, it was a good Sentai, so basically, Messing Sentai, Kill Major was a good Sentai, I really did like, I really did like this, I do really, I do, I really do like this Sentai, it's kind of like, it's Maggie Ranger, it's kind of, they, they took Maggie Ranger, and, and Go Ranger, and just, met, just mix it together, so basically, for a magic thing, Sentai, so basically, a lot of people are saying that, oh, no, yes, the, the work, the uh, matching means, means machine, everybody's saying that, you know, this, this, that, uh, that Kim is a top, is a vehicle thing, Sentai, but no, it's a magic thing, Sentai. Trust, you know, that's it. Uh, 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 this is a magic thing, Sentai. This thing with magic. So basically, with magic, with magic, with magic Kim is though. So basically, and so basically, technically, Technically, Kimmage uh, is not a vehicle being Sentai, it's a magic being Sentai. So basically, a lot of people are thinking that, oh, oh, Kimmage was the best, uh, was okay for vehicle being Sentai series. No, it's a magic being Sentai. Everything had magic, you know, it was a magic thing, even though, you know, it seems kind of like, you know, even though it didn't really seem like it, but it's a magic being Sentai. So anyway, so well, basically, the real thing, but the thing I do like about Kimmage is they didn't went over, over top with the gimmick of, usually in Sentai. So usually, you know, usually when it comes to Sentai, you know, most of the time they even go over, over the top with the gimmick of this, the gimmick thing of the series. So basically, I like that, you know, I like the fact that they kept things simple in this series. So basically, they kept the power-up simple, they kept the Zords, you know, uh, they kept the Zords a bit, you know, kept everything simple. So basically, like, you know, they didn't, I really liked it, the fact they didn't, you know, go, oh, really go nuts with this, you know, what the gimmick for, uh, for, for Kill Major. So basically, I really, that's what I really like about the Sentai, about this, about this Sentai series. Like, you know, usually, you know, usually, like I say, usually when it comes to a Sentai gimmick, you know, they, they usually go out and go, or uh, go out fucking crazy with the, with the, you know, with the, with the gimmick of, of the current Sentai. So basically, that's the way, I mean, that's one of the main reasons for why I like PMA because they didn't went nuts with the with the gimmick of the uh, of the series. So basically, that's one part of it. Plus, I do like the characters. I do like the kill majors as well. You know, I do like all the kill majors. You know, including the side characters. I felt like the villains. But you know, they were alright. So basically, I do like the kill majors themselves. I do. I feel like some of the like you know the boss villain. You know, I, I do like the yellow dawn. I, I you know, I wish that he would. It, you know, that he would, you know, or would have survived, you know, and, you know, do it correctly. I felt the business were good and whatnot. So basically, I like all the characters in Kill Major, you know. I mean, the characters were good and decent. So basically, there was a lot of characters. 
it gives a lot of character to benefit not only for our heroes, but also for our villains as well. So basically, that's kind of, you know, usually in Sentai, it's kind of rare, it's kind of rare for villains to get, you know, character to benefit in, in, in most of the time in a, in a Sentai series, you know, most of the time, you know, <laughs> We do get into a bit of backstory, you know, in Sentai, and usually, usually, most of the time, you know, we get the reason why they came evil in the first place and whatnot, but most of the time, we don't really get, uh, get a full, uh, full character development for villains in Sentai, not all the time, but, you know, this, this, you know, this, this, you know, this series, you know, gave us some characters, but it's not only for our heroes, also for our villains as well. So basically, that's one more thing I like about the series. So, so basically, the only problem I would say I didn't like about two things, I, the only two, two problems I didn't like about this series is that one, one that that Kimmy Silver I mean Takamichi aka Kimmy Silver did not have a gold Kimmy form. So basically I wish that Takamichi would have you know would have had you know, would have used the Kimmy arrow to get gain a a gold Kimmy form just like the other Kimmages. And the second thing is there is no Ultra Zord combination. So basically, all these Zords that the Kimmy just had, I feel like, you know, especially, you know, especially at the end, uh, and especially at the final episode, they could have used a final Megazord combination. So basically, the only... So basically, the only two problems I had about this one, I just wish that Toffee Miki would have used the Kimmy L and gave a Kimmy Go form, a super, a power up form from the Kimmy Go L. And the second thing is, I, I, put, I really felt like you know they should up, you know the the show would have should up, you know <laughs> had an Ultra Zord combination for all the Kimmy Stone Zords. So basically, those are the only two problems I had with the Sentai. Is you know I wish that you know that the Six Ranger would have had a power, would have had a power up form just like the other Kimmy. Just like the other Kim Majors and and this series should have featured a should have really featured a ocean sort combination with all the Kim Majors Stone Zoids. But anyway, but you know, Kim is a good so basically it was a good you know, I really do enjoy Kim Majors just by the you know, this was a good simple Sinta. I really do like this Sinta, you know. You know, it's a good it's a good Sinta to you know it's a good Sinta to if it's a good Sinta to watch, you know, you can watch it. So basically, this was a good Sentai I enjoyed watching. So anyway, I feel like the whole message, usually, I feel like, so basically, I feel like the whole message for this, the whole, the, the main lesson or, or message for the Sentai is that, you know, if, if you need to take chances with life and live, you know, and live like, you know, you know, and, and, and you live life to the fullest. So basically, I think this is what the main message for this is. The main message or lessons for this series is that no, that you need to take more chances with life and live life to the fullest. You know, I think that was the main or the, or the main message and lessons throughout Killmaker is, you know, the Killmaker took a chance of being, being, being Killmaker, you know, and uh, also living out their, you know, and, and, you know, living out their life for the fullest. So basically, I think this was the main, these one, one of the two main message, messages and, uh, you know, and lessons for Killmaker is that, you know, you need to take, like, you know, so you need to take more chances with life and that life to the fullest. So basically, those were the two main lessons or message message for for Kim Asian. Besides that, you know, Kim Asian was a good was a good was a good was a good solid Sentai series. So anyway, so basically, what do you guys think about Kim Asian, About the whole Kim Asian series? Was it, it was it good? Was it bad? Was it just okay or just nah? Please let me know in the comments below this podcast. So anyway, like always, it's Tinchy Michael from Screw Review. So, one.